assessment, feel free to use it. That's why it's there. Okay. And so we can also see Ukrainian forces, everything in yellow. Uh, that's the Ukrainian counteroffensive. So that's their own territory that they are taking back from Russia. So there you can kind of see since March right there. You can see that slowly Ukrainian forces are really retaking their country. Russia only holds 18% of Ukraine right now. So Russia is probably pretty embarrassed right now that they invaded Ukraine, a country that's much, much smaller. Uh, and they're getting really, really just not doing well. Go ahead, Henry. But uh, that would probably not necessarily be the best thing because even though we are doing well, Russia might get so frustrated that they threat to use nukes, which has already happened. Well, let it's me tell you, they haven't at already used them yet. Let me tell you why they can't do that, Henry. And this is something that Russia has been doing since I was your age. Now, because the United States has a tremendous amount of nuclear weapons, and so does Russia, Russia can't, though, because we have something called MAD, which stands for Mutually Assured Destruction. Now, the really crazy thing is the United States military could actually wipe out all of Russia's military forces within a matter of maybe 6 to 12 hours without even using nuclear weapons. That's, how much, more, that's how much more powerful the U.S. military is than Russia's. I thought they were like toe to toe. Yeah, you would think that, but here's the problem. I actually teach a class just on weapons, Henry. So if you want to learn about things like nuclear yeah, weapons, tanks, and we cover, I do a whole class just on that. Um, I need to make one later in the day though for you guys on the other side of the planet. Um, but long story short, most of Russia's gear is really old. A lot of it doesn't work. And what we're seeing in Ukraine is that, I mean, they're using tanks from the 1980s. We kind of all like her. So Bezos has given her $100 million, not for her to spend on herself, but to go out and do good things. You know, she provides books for kids. She helped during COVID. She's just a person that does a lot of good here in the United States and tries to help people. If you guys don't mind, it would appear my six-year-old Harlow has entered the class. If you guys don't mind, there's a little head down there. That's her. Harlow, you want to say hi? Hi. You got a hi out of her. She's usually too shy to say hi. Okay. Now, guys, we talked a little bit about sharks uh, last week, but this is something I didn't realize, is that sharks are actually still facing extinction. A lot of species of sharks are still threatened. Um, now, since the 1990s, you know, when I was your age, a lot of big fish species were almost fished to extinction, but they changed the laws and they said, look, you can't fish infinite amounts of fish. You can only fish a certain amount every year. Pick up for most lanyards. Why did I marry you? Don't even know. It's the only skill. All right, guys, that's it. For I think some wives are almost as crazy as their husbands. That's a fact, guys. Always 30 minutes of ad-free news with me, your host, Mr. G. Look forward to seeing you guys next week. Be good. Stay safe out there. Bye, Ethan. Bye, Henry. Bye.